Hey guys, it is an exciting day here, even though it's raining. I don't know if you can see the rain behind me. It is raining, it's a little bit cold, which I'm not complaining about, but we are hauling. Uh, you already know if you watch my vlog channel that I found some of the new, I think most of the new Maybelline stuff. I picked some of it up and I wanted to show it to you uh, in a haul. This is exciting. There are color tattoos. There are color tattoos. Yay! All right, so I'm gonna get right into those first. I'll show you the uh, the nudes palette after that, but we'll do the color tattoos first. There are five of them, and I'm going to swatch them for you. I can't hold all of them in one hand. Um, they say on the back, leather. I'll show you on one of them. This is the one that dropped and almost broke my heart. My bag had a hole in it. Ah, my bag had a hole in it, so I'm walking out of the store, and all of a sudden, see how they say leather? Uh, all of a sudden the bag breaks and things are falling to the ground, the concrete, and I'm losing my mind. Yeah, so let me go ahead and swatch these five color tattoos for you. This is what a lot of us have been asking for. I know I have. I wanted some matte color tattoos, and uh, one of these looks shimmery. Uh, so we'll see when we swatch it, but I'll go ahead. Uh, the other four do look matte. The first one I will show you is Vintage Plum, number 90, and take a look at that. Oh, this is the best day for a pajama haul, right? All right, so that is the Vintage Plum, and I'm going to stick my finger right in there. And, yeah, that is totally matte and gorgeous. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Okay, that's the swatch of it. Vintage Plum. Very, very nice, Maybelline. These went up in price a little bit. Usually when I get these at Bed Bath & Beyond, they're $4.99. They were like five something this time. Not that I'm complaining, I love them. They're always cheaper than a paint pot. Um, the next one I have is, oh, this is Dramatic Black. Now this one looked interesting to me because <laughs> for some reason it didn't look super black, but it does now. So Dramatic Black, and I'll stick my finger in there. And the other black color tattoo I have has shimmer to it. So this is definitely uh, different. And probably the only matte cream color I have. So that's dramatic black. Very, very nice. Oh, I'm so happy with you, Maybelline. Maybelline is no doubt my favorite drugstore brand. No doubt in my mind. And if you've been on my Instagram, you've seen how many color tattoos I have. I haven't missed too many of them. Uh, Deep Forest is the next color we'll swatch. So I'll show you that. Deep Forest. That is going to be interesting. A nice kind of, kind of army green. Army green. I like how I describe colors, don't you? You probably don't. Uh, <laughs> That is so interesting. That is going to be an interesting look. I can pair these tuckers up with anything. That's why I always get them. I can make a color tattoo work. Uh, so there it is right out there on the top. And uh, yeah, that's going to be an interesting one. I got to put on my, uh, what do they call it? Thinking cap for that one. Deep forest. One of the things I want to uh, talk about, because someone always asks me, is how I make my color tattoos last. I store them top side down in a drawer. Uh, a nice dark drawer, and they stay um, fine for me. Uh, a lot of people ask me that. I still have and used last week, Bad to the Bronze, my original first ever purchased color tattoo, and it's still fine. So I've been really lucky um, storing them that way. I think the key is top side down, um, because when I store them up like that, uh, there's a couple of them from another brand that I stored up like that, and they got dried out. But if I store them like this, I never have a problem. Okay, the next color is Creamy Beige, which I know a lot of people are going to love. Creamy Beige. Ooh, yeah. These come, sometimes these look a little weird in the pan when you first open them up, but there's just, it's just on the top. Creamy Beige. So, look at that right there on top. That's creamy beige, and it looks creamy and beige. They weren't lying when they named that. Now this is the one that has a little bit of shimmer action going on, and it is called uh, Chocolate Suede. It's the last one, and I don't think, well, you can't really tell from looking at this, but we'll see when, I can tell from the back of the container looking through the glass how it looks that there's some shimmer to it. Yeah, yeah, there's some shimmer to it. It's like a nice old gold. Woo. Not even gold. That is my favorite one. Hands down, that's my favorite one. Right there. 
that is a pretty color. So I know a lot of you make decisions, you know, what collection comes out of these and you pick your colors. That would be my pick. I think uh, <laughs> chocolate suede is the one I'm gonna use most of all. So I'll let you look at those one more time and then I'm bringing out the uh, new palette. Now Maybelline's never done a palette before and so that's exciting in itself. Uh, damn, that looks good. Man, that looks good. Okay, they've never done a palette, so this is pretty exciting stuff, and it's an uh, inexpensively priced palette, as you know we would expect from Maybelline. So this is good stuff. Uh, mine was like nine seventy nine, uh, so that's what it looks like on the outside. The packaging is really pretty. Um, on the back, they have a couple of different ideas as far as how to use it. Um, some different setups, you know what quads, duos, and um, trios, you know, how to organize the colors. But I like to just, you know, do my thing, um, like a lot of you do, but it's always nice to have some guidance. So let me just let you take a long, nice look at that. $9.79. $9.79. So there's something matte going on down here at the end. And these beautiful, of course, this center area has caught my attention. These three colors right there. Oh, boy. Um, so, yeah. This is going to be interesting to use. I think there's a little something for everybody that likes nudes, which is, you know, I guess I'm, I'm pretty sure their goal. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to definitely swatch this for my blog, but let me go ahead and swatch some colors for you and just see what the pigmentation is like just with my fingers. Why not, right? Okay, first, that is my first order of business, and I love it. Look at that. Uh, that's good pigmentation, people. I, I think that's a winner. Now, this hand, I should have done it with my other hand, but I'm always right-handed, so I'm always real quick to do things with my right hand. But let me just make a, oh, yes, that works. Look at that color on my hand. Woo, that is super pretty. I like that. That color, I, I felt like that would be the best pigmented color. Pigmented, is that a word? Um, in here, let me do a really light gold. The really light gold, I'll show you where it is first right there that's a really light gold and it looks pretty pigmented as well pretty darn pigmented right there nice let's put it on my hand next to the other one really pretty that's coming up those two colors are going to be nice together see you're, you're you're getting a preview of the ilex you will see in future videos um let me do one of the matte ones um that looks really matte do this one right here, that one right there. That looks super matte, look at that. Nice pigmentation there, a little lighter than the shimmers. A lot of times with brands, shimmers are just more pigmented than the um, mattes anyway. But yeah, that shows up pretty good. I just did a quick swipe right there, so that shows up. It's lighter than the uh, shimmers look on my hand, but that's nice enough to deepen up an eye look. So yeah, I'm excited about using this. Looks good to me. There we go. All right, just a couple other things I got. Okay, one palette that I got that a lot of you all asked me about, I put on Instagram and everything. Join me on Instagram if you haven't already. Last night, yesterday I did a giveaway and I gave away one, three mascaras, Tarte's Gifted, Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte, and Mally's Volumizing. So we have a lot of fun on Instagram with giveaways. It's the Reveal 2 palette from Coastal Scents. Um, one of the things I posted last week on Instagram and Twitter is that they were giving this palette's release for 48 hours. They were selling it at half price, which was 10 bucks, and then I think I paid $4 for shipping. Uh, so yeah, this is the Reveal 2 palette. Check that out. How gorgeous looking is that bad boy? Now, you know, what was interesting about the first revealed palette um, to me was that it looked like a mixture of uh, Urban Decay's uh, Naked and Naked 2 palette. Naked 2 palette, which I'm wearing. In case you haven't, you've been with me for a while, I told you I would do uh, a week of using the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette because it's my least used palette and I wanted to get to love it. Well, I'm in week two of it and I'm really starting to love it. If you noticed all last week's video as, videos I was wearing the Naked 2 palette. Um, anyway, now I'm going to have to change out because I got other palettes to use. But this looks like uh, a little bit like the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette with a lot of the rosy colors in it. So very, very interesting. This color right here made, reminds me of Max. Uh, beauty marked doesn't it look it has that that same color with the shimmer so let me swatch a couple of these for you but I'm going to use a makeup wipe first I came prepared people um, with a makeup wipe I knew we would get into some trouble swatching because of the fact that this is 
you know, there are a lot of things to swatch in this haul. So what I'm going to do is uh, take one second break to let this dry and show you two other things I got. This was on sale. Uh, these were on sale. I think it was at Rite Aid or Walgreens. Buy one, get one half off. And they were, oh, it was CVS. And these were the extra big sizes. Tell me if you like yes to carrots um, uh, and yes to blueberries. Yes to cucumbers and yes to blueberries. Uh, the whites, I've never tried them before, but I thought I would because you get 40 and... One was $6.49 and the other was half price. So I wanted to try these. These are the hypoallergenic ones and these are the age refresh. Um, but yeah, you get 40 wipes and a thing. And I think this is a pretty nice container. So, or container. And <laughs> I think this is a pretty nice setup. But I was uh, running low on wipes. Like I just used, the one I just used on my hand was my favorite. I love Maybelline. See, I love Maybelline. Clean Express. These are kind of like my favorite wipes that I use. All right, I think my hand's dry. Let's do some swatching from the Revealed palette. There's so many pretty colors here to go with. I'm going to do this cranberry right here because this sucker is bringing is giving me life it really is so i'm gonna stick my finger in here the only pat uh, critique i had the first time around with the first palette i thought the colors were great i didn't like the shape of the pans for these colors uh but i do like the pigmentation look at that y'all that is serious pigmentation that is cranberry goodness that is going directly on my eye with very little yeah that is amazing that is amazing uh yeah. Uh, let me do a shimmer, a shimmer, a shimmer. I'm gonna do, you know what? I'm gonna do one of these. The one of these two. Which ones should I do? One of these two. Mike, I'm gonna do the really light pink one. Oh, it's a little chalky, y'all. It's a little chalky. Look at my finger. It's a little chalky, but let's put it on the hand. Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. So most of these, there's more winners than losers here. Definitely like the first palette it looks like. This is kind of what I remember with that. I'm going to go ahead and try that color that reminds me of Beauty Mark. The only thing I, I have Beauty Mark, the only thing I kind of don't like about it is the fact that it is, there's a lot of fallout associated with it. So let's see if they corrected that. They probably did not. Hmm. I always need to clean up my under eye area after I do that, but that is a beautiful color. Very mysterious. I like it. I like it because there's there's darkness, there's sparkle, there's goodness in there. And I'll go ahead and do, um, this is a color I bet a lot of people will use. These three right here are really pretty, right? Really pretty. Let me swatch that one right there because that's a kind of a matte. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. That would go with one of the color tattoos. That's right there on top. That is a really pretty matte shade. All right, guys, so I will, when it's sunny, uh, put swatches of these up on my blog so you can see all the colors, just like I did for the first reveal palette. And this is exciting. I'll be my, doing my first ever palette swatch post uh, for a Maybelline palette. I hope they continue to do this. Um, just wanted to show you a couple other things. These were at Rite Aid and they're very inexpensive. I can't wait to try them. Let me know if you have Bonita uh, nail polish brand. This is Blue Steel. It's a lot of polish in here for $2.49. And this is Ride the Waves. Look at that blue. And they both have a little shimmer in them. Little shimmer in them. So yeah, you'll be seeing those in Nail of the Day posts. That's pretty interesting. Oh, I got another palette uh, from L'Oreal. They came out with a bunch of them. This is Treasured Bronze. I thought this, I mean, this like had me from the second I saw it. Treasured Bronze. And I don't think I have any, maybe I do have one of these. Maybe I have one of these from uh, L'Oreal. But I just thought this was so gorgeous. You need another look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. Let me put my, stick my fingers in it. Stick my We'll see how good it really is. The weird thing is, is because it's shaped the way that is, I mean, look at that up close. That looks like there's like no shadow there. I hope that's deeper than it looks. Doesn't look like there's any shadow there. Ooh, very nice pigmentation. Oh, look at that. That's the, the darkest gold. Very pretty. Oh, I do swatches of the other. Ooh, this looks good too. I am having fun with this. Oh my gosh, look at those. Those are three of the colors right there. Very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. I love that. And then I didn't do the lightest color now, did I? Let me put that up there. <laughs> so yeah, those are all four colors right there. Very, very pretty. The lightest color at the top. 
Very, very pretty palette. I can't wait to get into that. That's gonna be a really nice eye look. So guys, I hope that was interesting for you because I heard Shirley had a really good time. Um, I will talk to you very soon. Um, look out for these in the stores, uh, these products in the stores. Usually when I find things at Bed Bath & Beyond from Maybelline, um, I see them trickle down. Uh, the things show up at you know, other stores, CVS, Walgreens, about uh, one to two weeks after I see them first at Bed Bath & Beyond. That's what usually happens because I kind of check the drugstores out every week. I will talk to you very soon, guys. Thanks for joining me, and uh, I will... Max, you're very sedate. I think it's because he's so wet. He's so wet because we went out and had a little, a little break before we started, a little break for uh, some potty action. Yes. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.